Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from AirVenture 2024. We get some pretty famous people through here, pretty and uh, pretty famous and pretty influential. We're about to talk to uh, NASA Administrator uh, Bill Nelson, and uh, he's got some interesting th things to say about uh, uh, traffic conflicts with uh, spacecraft and the the future in general of the space program. So NASA is on a real roll, uh, Mr. <laughs> Administrator. There's been launch after launch after launch. Um, where do we reach saturation, particularly in the busy airspace in, uh, in Florida? Uh, how many launches can we do a year? Well, uh, SpaceX is intending they're going to do 200 launches this coming year, not just at Kennedy, but that will include uh, uh, Vandenberg as well. And I think that's just the Falcon 9 or the Falcon Heavy. You know, it wasn't too long ago that as the senior senator from Florida, one of my main goals was to get those old abandoned launch pads at the Cape, get them to roar back to life. And they have roared back to life. And uh, if we have a traffic problem now, that's a good problem to have. Can you give us an update on Starliner and how we're looking in terms of getting it back home? Um, we uh, are very confident that uh, we will have uh, everything worked out to our satisfaction that we do not fly until it's safe and that Butch and Sonny, uh, they will be uh, perfectly all right. Uh, so it's been characterized uh, that the two of them are stranded. Far from being stranded, they're having extra time on the International Space Station, which they are loving. And so um, we'll bring them home when it's right, and I expect that will be, uh, we'll see the flight readiness review probably at the end of next week, so it'll be the week after that. I think that's the time that we're shooting for. Speaking of politics, uh, how is political support for NASA? And uh, with the possibility of a change in government, do you see any change in mandate for NASA? First of all, I don't, I don't expect, as a friend of you-know-who, I expect the uh, administration, at least part of the administration, to continue uh, next year after the election. But if the administration's change, it's not going to affect our NASA space program. Okay, well, this is the democratization of space, and, uh, and the idea was that it would be uh, spread out among the business community and, uh, and that there would be lots of players involved. But SpaceX dominates, uh, is that an issue going forward and uh, how do you even the playing field for other companies? Well, they have been phenomenally successful and they brought the cost to go into space way, way down. If, if you're concerned about uh, your implication of your question, that what about the small companies? Well, the fact is that those companies started out as small companies and look at the success of some of the small companies. Rocket Lab, Firefly. Uh, this is the genius of American ingenuity. But SpaceX does more than 90% of your launches, and, uh, and uh, are you concerned that, uh, that there's a mon monopoly being created um, and that SpaceX will become virtually your only partner? The short answer to your question is no, and the longer answer is, well, look what's coming on. ULA is coming on with their Vulcan. They're going to fly it the second time, and then they'll be rated for Department of Defense uh, payloads. Look what's coming after that, the Blue Origin, Blue Moon. Uh, so right there for larger payloads, you will have a stable of three thoroughbreds from which to pick. So that's what competition's all about. 
So the X-59, once it reaches later stages of its testing, it'll be flying over different parts of the U.S. to gauge the sound levels at the ground. Are there particular areas that NASA is looking at to have them fly over? Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, they are studying it so that it will actually go over quite quiet areas of the country instead of a place in the country that's accustomed to jet noise. So they'll do a mixture of a whole bunch. Uh, they'll do uh, urban areas, they'll do suburban areas, they'll do rural areas, they'll do wilderness areas, all to see what is the reaction on the ground. Uh, if it turns out like we think it's going to turn out, it will be like a muffled kind of uh, muffled sound instead of that bang, bang of the uh, sonic boom that you hear now, which is quite jarring as you well know.